I feel like we're at that uh, YouTube channel thing, eat hot wings, and they progressively get hotter, and they're just like interview. well, one person's interviewing the other, oh. and for every question, the question gets harder, but the wings also get hotter. Well. Welcome. How are you? Thank you for coming to my studio. <laughs> this little game board setup we argued about. <laughs> yeah, I wanted poster board. So, for those who have no idea what we're doing, We've had quite the time looking at different married couples and people all over the internet mm -hmm. um, from even different TV shows that have played this game called Agree or Disagree. And some people even say Agree to Disagree. It's questions that go in order from like easy, medium, and hard. hard. Yeah. And so we're going to ask each other questions that pertain to those categories. Okay? Okay. We're going to start off easy. And the first statement is, it's okay to sleep angry at your partner. Go to bed angry. That's easy. Dang. It's okay? I disagree. Why not strongly disagree? Yeah, so like if it's okay, I would definitely say strongly disagree. But reality is that not every single night of your marriage you're going to go to bed either please or even middle ground. With your spouse. I mean, that's never been the case for us. Never. Well, no, I mean, like, <laughs> <We're all laughs> we've never gone to bed happy. No, I just mean, like, there's just no way that you can go to bed every single night happy. So I would say disagree just from a realism perspective, but on the same end, I understand, like, well, are you okay with it? I would probably say strongly disagree. So I'm gonna actually move myself. No, to, you like, don't have to I'm, move I'm gonna it. move it to, like, here. Well, I find that it is hard for me. Like, I feel like I live out that scripture that says, like, do not go to bed, like, on your anger. Like, do not mm -hmm. go to bed angry. Even though that's not what it says. Do not let the sun set on your anger. I've even talked through that in counseling. How do I, like, go to bed when there's sometimes an unresolved conversation, you know, that we've had? Mm -hmm. And it's not saying that anything, like, crazy wrong is going on, but... Sometimes like even the feelings are still setting like on your heart of like, oh, this feels unsettled, you sure. know, and like I'm frustrated by it. So I've just had to like figure out what exactly is happening and that I can let go of the anger that I feel and I can process that with God rather than like just continuing to sit in it because I physically cannot go to bed unless I've let go of it. Yeah, I, I can. I can you, sleep. I know. But my thing is like but I can how? sleep and then wake up the next morning and deal with it on a fresh mind with a disconnected perspective because like when you're right there in the middle of the garbage, like you're emotional and you're not making like the best decisions, but when you can detach from it and get a rested brain, yeah, I think I, I think I think you can make a wiser decision the next morning. Yes, as, as far as it. far as decisions, I just think it's important like for us to go to bed agreeing to like First and foremost, just tell you in the midst of this conversation that I love you and we're committed to like resolving this and like even if it happens in tomorrow, at least like yeah. that communication yeah, yeah, yeah. needs to be part of it. That's you know good. what I mean? Another easy one. <laughs> it's not really all that easy. Chelsea is the more romantic one. <laughs> okay. Someone's got very strong feelings <laughs> here. If I want to believe something, I want to believe it all the way. But I see that. It's interesting because I know we both are romantic, especially when we get away. That's very apparent. When we get away on like vacations, I feel like you get in a really romantic like mood and you're like yeah. ready to like move to Europe and just do all that stuff. Correct. But in I the day to day, maybe I am like more of mm, The truth comes out. Because you are romantic. Yeah, but I, I would just like, say I swing more like I think romantically more than you do. Oh yeah, no, I don't think that way. Well, I mean I do at times, but yeah, most of my romance isn't like your romance. Your romance is like writing letters and like thinking about fun trips and like all the stuff that we would do on them, and that's just I I don't really think in that. But like, I feel like I think about I think dating about, though you used to. Probably, yeah, but I mean like stages of life and just changes, but I mostly think about like how I can help you, like tangibly like assist you to like ease your life. You think our relationship moved too quickly. I don't think it moved fast enough. Really? Yeah. 
I mean, I still, I'm that's still, all I got. I say. still disagree, but I just don't, I don't feel as strongly because I do feel we could have just even a teensy bit, like had a little bit more time preparing for. I don't know. Maybe we couldn't have. It's like it's hard to think in that way. Yeah, it's hard to de well, it's hard to like judge yourself after the fact for what you did back then. Yeah. Because hindsight's twenty twenty, as they always say. And so you can always, like, you can look at any portion of your past or any portion of your life. Say you know, shot. Yeah, and like, oh, I could have done that better. Of course you could have done something better. But in the moment, you can only work with what you have. And so right. I think, you know, based on all the circumstances, that as best I can remember them, I mean, I think we made the right call. I think we made good calls. And in fact, I would have probably made that call three months, six months sooner. I think I would have dated you um, in person. Yes, I, yeah, I agree Yeah, Because we grew in our communication when we were long distance, but to have more time like dating each other in the same city would have been, I think, really sweet to have yeah. like, more of that time. I agree with that. You know? Totally. All right, ready for medium? Oh, we didn't even get into medium? No. Holy crud. Okay. Okay, these are about to get medium. <laughs> okay. Is your medium like Thai medium? Like yeah. spice? Like yeah, you know how like, yeah, like at the Thai restaurants or like, you want a little bit, like just a tiny bit of spice? And then it's like, like sets you on fire. It's like at the max level for you? I don't know. You okay, all right, let's You find have out. a different judgment than I do. Let's find out. It's okay to be attracted to other people while in a relationship. Ooh, that is medium. <laughs> Uh, attracted to other people while in a relationship? Well, what kind of relationship is this? That's a big determining factor, I think. While well, in marriage. Oh. Easy. Yeah. I think we're gauging attraction differently than one another. Because I think you and I could like walk by somebody and say, we've said it before when we've been together, like, oh, that person's attractive. Oh, I thought you meant like a romantic interest. Like you oh. could see, like you could visual, like conceptualize a romantic interest with another human no. being while you're no. with this. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, <laughs> pick up our book, Mary's <laughs> Mind. I see why you would say like swing it all. Yeah, the way down. but like if you're dating, uh, I mean, still, I'm gonna be at least on this side of the line. But in dating, I mean, you have a vested interest and you have a vested, uh, I mean, you have an investment in another person. But as far as like a legal binding, now, do I think it's like kind of cruddy to conceptualize a romantic interest with another person while you're with someone? Yeah, I do, transparently. But do I think it's like wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, with like dating. Yeah, yeah like dating. dating. Very specific to dating or like yeah. even pre-dating. But I'm marriage gonna, is more But like here. I'm not gonna cross on this side of the line with that. It's just, you're not gonna get that out of me. Yeah, and I would say it's, I think naive to think that certain thoughts like don't come into your mind even when you're in a committed relationship, mm -hmm. but it's like totally. what you do with those thoughts. It's not like everybody's walking around the earth like, it just has pure thoughts at all oh, totally. times. Yeah, yeah, that was that very, was a medium. That was very medium. <laughs> very medium. <laughs> Last medium question: Talking to another person of the opposite sex without your spouse knowing is cheating. I'd say disagree too. Or like, yeah, talking to the opposite sex without your spouse knowing is not cool. Shouldn't be a regular thing. Yeah, like, I think I would agree with that. I would say like that's not cool. It's not cool to do that without them knowing or like, in, I don't know, like intentionally. intentionally. Yeah, and like especially if it's something, like people can read between the lines. Like if you're just talking about like happy nothings or whatever, like catching up from work or college or something, and you ran into him once in the past three years and you probably won't ever talk to him again or you won't see him for another three years or six months or whatever. I mean, that's one thing. But like if you're, like if she was an old or he was an old fling from yeah, your sophomore year of college different. and y'all are like grabbing, or like y'all happen to run into each other at the same coffee shop and then y'all sit down and have a 45 minute conversation about how life has been and like that's a whole different thing, you know? So yeah. I think that I think that context like and that question- like a spectrum. Yeah, I think that context and that question is important. If it's like, oh, you know, I ran into Sally Joe three weeks ago at Publix. I said only Sally Joe. And we talked for two and a half minutes and I forgot to tell you about it because like that day was really full and I had to go get the kid and like had to finish getting my groceries, but I forgot to tell you about my interaction with Sally Joe. And so like I cheated on you. Like there's no. That's just foolish. 
but it's always good to brief each other on like you know, the yeah, different totally. interactions you have. Yeah. Okay, we're moving into hard. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah. I feel pretty solid. You gotta be honest, we really like this type of style. This tea is great. This is Russian caravan tea for all the haters. We became parents too young. Yeah, I'm kind of right in the middle. I could have gone, I would have been fine with 25 or 26 or even 27, but I'm not mad that it was 24 for me. And the conversation you and I keep having is like, God forbid any of our kids ever felt like we didn't want them or like mm -hmm. we weren't expecting them because we love Hudson so much and like he's changed our life in so many ways. But as far as like only us and our perspective of like where we were at, we hadn't been married for that long, you mm -hmm. know, and we did have a child pretty early, but that is just how the Lord wanted to plan our family and yeah. we are growing and we're loving it. Yeah. Um, and it does come with its challenges. Right. I wouldn't totally agree with the whole, like, you have to not have kids for a few years or something to like enjoy marriage. I enjoy the heck out of marriage with or without us, you know, so. Right. And we still make time. Yeah. each other often totally and even us like continuing to have kids like mm -hmm. it's an ongoing conversation yeah like, we still want to yeah so. totally that one wasn't that hard no. i feel like that should have been like low tier meat <laughs> nick has a hard time being honest with chelsea at first in our relationship or like in conversation this could be flipped i don't think so i'm super comfortable around you to voice my mind and Thoughts. The only reason I'm not as strong as you is I do think sometimes when you feel really heavy emotions, you don't know how to quite express them. And so sometimes you do put it off. Yeah, but Does that's that not, sense? yeah, I mean, a delay is really me just like gathering my thoughts mm -hmm. and figuring out how to best communicate them versus like me in an emotional state approaching you and then lying and then coming back after the fact. And then being yeah. like, hey, I actually lied. Like, this is really how I feel, you know? That's just not me. Last one, <laughs> this has been a conversation um, in our house a lot over the years. Oh Lord. It's, you agree on most spiritual aspects of your belief in Christ. Oh wait, we agree on most? <laughs> I would say all of the, the foundational things are there yeah. in our belief. Yeah, we agree on the same about relationship, about marriage, about God, about the Holy Spirit. Well, most about the Holy Spirit. Uh, all about the Son, apostleship, prophecy. I mean, yeah, yeah really like a baptism, like all the giant components of yeah. Christendom. But I, I mean, we, we, we are continually having conversations totally. on yeah. the different nuances of right. the walk as a believer. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, that's the exact word I was actually going to use. So I'm glad you said that. Yeah, I don't think people should think oh, we believe everything the same. I think honestly, like some of our hardest conversations and points of tension yeah. have been disagreements sometimes. And for you and I, I bet if we just sat down with the Bible and we like picked a passage and we said, what do you think about that? In, like context of the totality of scripture, I bet we would agree 99% of the time. But my issue isn't so much in theology. My issues that at least the ones I'm thinking that you and I have most times have to do with methodology as to me, like how Christians actually live those components. Sometimes how I personally, just how I think some of them are mishandled in certain sectors of Christendom. We sound very out there for some people. Yeah, but, but that's just me. Yeah, but none of us have arrived. Nope, and I could very well change my mind. I could change it tonight, tomorrow, 10 minutes ago. We can all change our yeah. mind, but like I think a lot of the stuff that the Lord teaches us has to yeah. hit our heart before it hits right. our mind. But I think that there's also a really important thing to realize is that God has given you conviction for a certain reason. Like you believe what you believe for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I believe what I believe for a reason. Like there's a reasoning behind the belief. And so for me to just say, oh, your reasoning is invalid, that's dumb. You know, that's just like not very kind. And it's also, uh, it's also belittling your character and intelligence, just like it would be if you were to tell me like, oh, what I think 
about you know your reasoning for that you know whatever you believe is really out there and wonky and stupid no i and think it's be, always yeah. having an open right. heart a receptive a receptive spirit to like so, actually be able to understand one another yeah let's give each other one more like we didn't plan this by the way let's give each other one more question each just like off the top of the dome and we'll go into like the ultra hard so we'll, we'll level it up for the people who have stayed ultra hard. ultra hard i've got one all right here's my ultra hard question you would like you individually not me but you would choose if you could to become a social media youtuber whatever all over again in the exact same way if you could do it over again like, would you choose a different course of life, like a different path, or would you do it differently, or would you do it if you could have That'd a choice? Over. Yeah, if you could have a do-over, you would do it the exact same way. Hmm. That is hard. I probably would. Why not strongly? Well, I mean, I'm agreeing. It's not like an undoubtedly like, oh yeah, I'm like 100% sure that every aspect, like I would want to redo that over again you know sure like there's hard parts and things that i wish i didn't have to experience in the midst of all that but i it, i mean this is what everybody says like mm -hmm. it's brought me to where i am right and i wouldn't have like become the person that i am and and done the things that i've done without the actual path that i believe god has taken me on mm. you know even though it's looked like i feel like i can talk about this a little bit more in a few months but just like it hasn't looked like what I expected it to for a few years, but I would agree. Nice. Mostly. And my question was, you undoubtedly would change something about me if you could. Really? Yeah. Hmm. No, I really love you for like who you are. Not to get like emotional <laughs> on, on video for the two. You're but blushing. I know, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel really strongly about that one. I don't think that I would. <laughs> You're making me cry! <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm teary eyed because I expected you to say yes and you were going to list something. Maybe it's lack of sleep with this little kiddo. But no, I mean, yeah, like, are there certain things that get on my nerves on any given Tuesday? Like, I'm sure. But as far as, like, is there something glaring, like, in the windshield of life that I would change about you? Nah. Now, are there things that you like, say and do, like on particular days that I would change? Probably. As far as like components about what make you uniquely you? No. Hey, well thanks for staying for a cry fest. Yeah. Hope you appreciate it. Hey, if, uh, if you would do me a favor, would mean a lot to Chelsea and I, we have worked our booties off on this. This is Marriage Minded, 10 Ways to Know If You Found the One. We wrote this book for you. If you are single, dating, engaged, want to learn uh, the components that make a marriage, a biblical marriage and a relationship, a biblical relationship, how I encourage you to pre-order. You can find it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, anywhere books are sold. That would really mean a lot to us. We'll leave a link and thank you guys for watching in on our, it felt like a date, like a set up date. date. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we'll do something else like this in the future, but until then, yeah. we'll spend some time together again soon. We shall. So long, Chris.